Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Nelly and welcome to my little corner of the internet. So in this week's vlog, um, I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do specifically. Uh, I think this week's mission again is just gonna be get out, <laughs> get out. <laughs> Honestly, because it's been so hot, I've been coped up inside a lot and I'm I'm catching myself a lot um, during the past few summers that I just tend to stay home. Um, I don't cope with the heat very well. I'm more of a fall girl. You know, mild temperatures with a little bit of sunshine are my kind of thing. So the 30, what, what is it? Between 32 and 36 degrees we've been having here recently, plus the humidity is yeah, it's really putting me into a mood, honestly. It's kind of like a, almost like a summer depression, the light one. And um, I kind of want to battle that a little bit. So I guess this week's mission is get out a little bit and explore some new places. But I do know what I'm going to do today. And one of the reasons why I came out to a cafe, as you can probably hear, and also see, because I got a coffee hot coffee because battle fire with fire they say I don't know who they is but that's what I heard so I'm trying a hot coffee today um, why I came out to this cafe today is because I will sign up for the KIIP and for those who know who don't know what the KIIP is it is basically a language it is basically a language program from the government that helps you improve your Korean and you can um, very similar to topic if you go through all the courses and then do all the exams at the end you can get a certificate but unlike the uh, topic you have the certificate for the rest of your life and it's from the government which is also really good if you strive to have a different visa later or want to put it on your um, resume in case you want to work in, an, in some kind of office here later uh, for me that might be a reason, but one of the biggest reasons I want to do this is to improve my language because I do, I'm able to get by. I don't have any problems here, but I'm kind of finding myself being stagnant for the last two, uh, let's say last year. I don't have a feeling that I improved a lot in like grammar or broad my vocabulary. I think broad my vocabulary is one of the biggest things. And I keep finding myself using the same phrases over grammar, um, the same grammar over and over again. And I just want to have like more natural, more deeper conversations because often I have a lot to say to bring to a conversation, but I find myself not being able to express this because some of the vocabulary is missing. And if you kind of want to have deep conversations or you, you have so many thoughts, but you can't express them, it's a little bit sad. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I, I just started simple. Uh, what I did was I looked up some vocabulary books online just for free and looked at a lot of the vocabulary. And a lot of them I knew already, which was surprising. But then again, it wasn't that surprising because it was level one. But I wanted to start from the beginning. And in this book, wrote down a few words that I didn't know uh, or that needed like a fresh up. Like when I see it, I know it, but it wouldn't come to my mind when I was talking about it. So I wrote down a few and I'm gonna preemptively just try to broaden my uh, vocabulary. And then soon I'm gonna sign up for the KIP, which I think is gonna start the program probably in October. So until then, I'm just gonna work on my own on broadening the vocabulary. And then in October, I'm gonna sign up for the KIP and hopefully breathe through it. And then by the end of it, I'm gonna be a pro at Korean. I read Korean newspapers. I'll talk to you all about econo economics. My God, okay, maybe I should broaden my English vocabulary first. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you all about those deep topics that I wanna talk about, and I'm not gonna be stunned, and I'm not gonna have to think about what I wanna say for two minutes before I can answer. Which is another thing, Koreans, I notice, Koreans tend to talk very fast. And as a non-native speaker in Korean, it's like, give me a minute, I need to think about what I want to say, like, I can't be so quick. And then, after I started thinking for like, I don't know, 15 seconds, already like two topics down, and I'm like, mm, 
<laughs> no, I can't say anything. So, get a little bit quicker. Let's just get to it. Let's get started. I did not get anything because I only want stuff that fits perfectly and I can wear long term so I ended up not getting any clothes.
On this day I felt really sick and dizzy so unfortunately I didn't get much footage and just went home after getting a coffee with the girls and rested up. I'm about to go grocery shopping, but quick explanation why I'm taking you specifically along to this grocery shopping experience is that I recently um, made a nutrition plan because it ties into the whole what you eat will make you feel better in your body like inside out and then also you kind of have like a regular schedule which will help me with budgeting and saving money because I will not be eating out that much. I will be then having scheduled my meals and what I want to spend for grocery shopping and all that um, I can meal prep and I can save money to cooking home a lot so that's what I'm about to do and I'll take you along for it let's go grocery shopping
done shopping and let's get to paint.